Citizens of that town, by mayoral decree, the following episode may cover topics the likes of which may trigger your timbers. Consider yourselves duly notified. Even though I'm diabetic, I do hand out king-sized candy bars on Halloween. Be the change you want to see in the world, right? So, the black robes and bone masks aren't Halloween costumes, are they? They are not. Oh, clones. Gotcha. You fellas want a candy bar anyway? I do. Not now. We have a message to deliver. <laughs> Trust me, y'all's clothes are definitely sending a message. No. The message is as follows. Come to the county courthouse. This is an urgent matter. Sign the most honorable Mayor Jason. Going to the county courthouse on Halloween? Most governmental buildings are cursed today. What's the worst that could happen, Andrew? Please don't ask that. I'll stop tempting fate if you give me a candy bar, Andrew. Deal. Ooh, nougat. It was implied you should get there post-haste. Yeah, I got that implication as well. So why did it take ten of you showing up at my door wearing creepy costumes to deliver this message? For the ritual. Gosh, Andrew, did you forget all about the ritual we do every Halloween? That's more plot than I care to chew through right now. Y'all go on and do whatever it was y'all were going to do. I'm apparently doing court. Drive safe, Andrew. Jesus, that was unnerving. No obvious threats. How are we looking with that cursometer? This building's curse levels are nominal. Does that mean we can take these stupid masks off now? Uh, we should be good. Great, that means I can eat some candy. I'm gonna share with the class. Class should have come prepared like me. Uh, Mike, what you staring at? That scarecrow sitting in Mayor Jason's chair. The one covered in blood and staring all menacing like at us? Do you see a different one? Hey, I'm just checking. Welcome, you poor souls! <laughs> Today, you stand before the wrong and dishonorable judge, Autumn's Harvest. Because you've got a pumpkin for a head? Ten bucks says she also has a scythe. Oh, a uh, double-headed axe, actually. Also, are you really a judge? I'm gonna need to see some paperwork. I've no time for paperwork! But I do have time to charge you both with taking the fun out of all of this. Rude. You literally have pockets full of candy, and you aren't sharing any of it. She's got you there. Do not help the creepy scarecrow lady. Saying that, are you actually a scarecrow, or is this just a costume? Mm, the self is a costume we wear every day. Isn't it? Okay. Everyone in this room knows what I was asking. Do I shoot now or later? Whoa, 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 okay, whoa. No need for nastiness. Give me a reason to stay nice. How about this? So, my name is Autumn. Hi. <laughs> I'm a shapeshifter, and uh, Halloween is just, you know, the, the best time to be a shapeshifter. <laughs> cool. So why are you here? Well, you have a pretty powerful enemy out there that has a lot of designs in regards to destroying you. Oh, good. It's been pretty boring around here lately. Really? That's your takeaway? What? Can a guy have some innocent fun? Overlook him. Who is it? <laughs> so, I can't say his name? Did accepting this job magically make it so that you can't say his name? Yep. Uh, does it start with a K and it's very annoyingly spelled? Yeah. You know who it is, then. Yeah, sure do. You're giving up all this info pretty easily. Hey, man. Getting shot sucks. This, huh, this, yeah, not a getting shot kind of job. And you two aren't even who I was after. Oh, so you didn't send that message out to us? I, no idea what you're talking about. 
Man, I mean, <laughs> I told Mayor Jason, Come, meet your destiny at the courthouse! <laughs> and then I changed into Murder Crow, uh, kicked up my feet, and waited. So, two things. One, Murder Crow. Good name. Thank you. Two, Mayor Jason sent us down here to take care of you. Like, violent kind of take care of you. N no, I, I got what you meant. So, I need to ask, what were you going to do with Mayor Jason? I was just going to scare the crap out of him. I mean, that's all I was getting paid to do. Oh, okay. No bloodshed, just scaring Mayor Jason on Halloween. That's all. Honestly, look, I just took this job so I could take the money and go buy scratch-offs in Georgia. I say we let her. I do too. What? Uh, uh, wait, really? <sighs> like, really? Why not? It's Halloween. I'll go ahead and call him. Ah, uh, this is going to be awesome. Hold off calling Mayor Jason. I've got an idea. Autumn, was it? Yep. Wanna help me tie Mayor Jason up so he'll come down here for sure? Sounds, uh, sounds like a terrible idea. I love it. Oh. I thought... I don't remember falling asleep. That's because you didn't. Josh's? What are y'all doing here? Eh, you know, hanging out, getting tied to metal stakes rammed into the ground. Normal, whatever the hell day of the week this is for us, honestly. I've got a splitting headache. Yeah, it's because they beat us with baseball bats. Yeah, I thought you didn't feel pain. Ah, see, <clears throat> I do. And if I pass out, he passes out. Oh. Just a little favor, keep that one close to your chest, okay? Yeah, of course, man. So, uh, uh revenge fueled escape? I'm game. Any idea what we're tied out here for? Well, looks like we're gonna get sacrificed. By what? Whom, actually. Uh, the clones have gotten a bit weird. See that big fire over there? I do. Now? Yeah, they got ideas of tossing us into that to please the, uh, uh, what, what the hell are they calling it? The Great Andrew in the Sky. Yes, that. Anyone else able to get out of your rope? Yeah. Pretty secure. Me too. I guess that's what we get for giving the clones Foxfire books as training guides. Uh, what year? Does it does it matter? I had to read those things as a kid. Some of those books were pretty gruesome when it came to detailing how to dismember farm animals. Oh yeah. <laughs> We gotta get loose. Now. Yep, no shit. Alright, no sacrificing me tonight. Can you just hold your ropes in place so it looks like we're still tied down? Sure can. Good, because one of the clones is headed this way. Okay, okay, everybody act cool. Well, 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 Andrews. Ain't this just the pie's very crust? Yep, you really got us. <laughs> y'all, which of y'all want to get thrown on my pyre yonder? We promise to make it quick and painless for the first feller. That seems needlessly arbitrary. Malice fuels the ritual. I was not expecting an answer to that statement, much less one that intense. You know what? I'll go first. You're so giving. Such is my lot in life. Get me free, Jimbo. Take me to the great sacrificial flame. Thank you for making this easy, Andrew. No, no. Thank you. Okay, we're free and we have weapons. Hey, they were packing heat. Anyone want to cut me free? I'd love to help out. Oh, yeah, right. Honestly, we get caught like this so often and just sort of operating on autopilot at this point. I really forgot you were there for a second. Thanks. Better now? Got a tree branch, goose egg on my forehead, and a splitting headache to match. Let's kick the shit out of these clones. a boy. Okay, let's get a head count before this gets started. Where'd I put my list? No need, no need. <laughs> I have the list right here. Oh, thanks, Mayor Jason. No problem. No problem at all. You seem to be in a good mood. And why shouldn't I? I'm Mayor Jason. It's Halloween. I get to run a meeting, and then we get to watch scary movies and eat junk food. 
It actually sounds pretty fun. Um, not everyone is here yet. Can I call roll on who is here now? Tyler? Present. Cool. Burton? Present. Okay. Ashley? Here. All right. And I'm here, so... Mayor Jason? <laughs> uh, 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 present and accounted for. Ah, oh, shit. More clones? No. No clones. No, no, no clones. Just that imposter over there trying to usurp me from my position as mayor emeritus of that town. Oh, no. You are the imposter. I was hogtied in my office, waylaid, beset upon by ruffians. I broke free and came over here to put an end to this nonsense post-haste. See? To me? That sounds like something an imposter would say. Will you two yield the floor a moment so I can ask a question? Proceed. Stop stealing my lines and stop chairing this meeting. You are nowhere near the expert parliamentarian that I am. The real Mayor Jason. Can I escalate immediately to gun violence or... Only if you shoot that imposter. Imposter or not, no one is shooting anyone that looks like me. That's, that's, that's a very unsettling precedent. Uh, wait. Which one of you is the real Mayor Jason? Because that one over there sounded a lot like the real deal. Murphy, you shoot me and you'll be sorry for the rest of your life. Oh my god, are we about to have a trial? Sure, that sounds like fun. Can I represent the Mayor Jason that is covered in rainwater? I've already got on my Colonel Sanders outfit and I can sound just like Foghorn Leghorn. Mike, you want to be the judge? Sure. I didn't agree to this and you aren't a judge! Aren't I? No! But, aren't I? Nothing has changed since you asked the first time, so no! This framed document would beg to differ. The Honorable Judge Michael Murphy granted to practice law in matters involving the supernatural, magical, paranormal, and paranatural... Not looking so good for you, eh, fake Mayor Jason? Uh, don't worry, I, I say, I say, don't worry, son, I get you an acquittal faster than my draft dodge. Please stop talking like that! Would you prefer if I sounded like Matlock? Final tally, 30 clones, clad in black robes with bone mask. You know, the masks were made from forearm bones, from the other clones. It's actually kind of messed up. Luckily for us, they didn't hawk all of our shit at a pawn shop, so we got our stuff back. I thought you know it was the best time to ask. Anyone want a cigar? Usually? No. But after all this, why not? Eps a freaking lootly. For you? Thank you. And you. Yep. <sighs> Good shit. What's next? Huh. I don't know. You want something to eat? I can always eat. Should we do something with these corpses? Uh, like, uh, like what? I don't know. Toss them on the fire? You know, I like destroying evidence as much as the next guy, but, uh, don't use that fire over there. Something's a little... off with it. Where is my meal? What? <laughs> well, that's new. Give myself to me! I demand sustenance. Okay, so this is going to be a whole thing, isn't it? Free me! Free me! I was summoned for a bargain! Free me! Wow, wait a minute. That could actually be useful. No talking! Give yourself to the flames! What would it take to get a 24-7 breakfast place out here in this big empty field? Uh, just, just toss all those dead clones in me and we'll call it even. Sweet. So, yeah, Judge Murphy here. Be seated. Except for you at the blue desk. You can make the opening remarks. Finally, a sense of decorum around here. Ladies and gentlemen, I... <laughs> Don't worry, boss. I've got this. Burton, do, and I cannot state this strenuously enough, not. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, I would like to begin by saying that my client is the real Mayor Jason Smith. Long may he reign like a political Nick Saban, or as I like to think of him, a more handsome Dale Jarrett. 
I'd like to submit as evidence of this claim the fact that my client looks like he wants to beat the shit out of me, whereas the imposter sitting at the red desk seems to actually be interested in what I'm saying. Objection! Fuck you, I was on a roll. What's your objection? You can't use my client sitting here patiently waiting for a turn to speak as evidence. Okay, sustained. Uh, no further questions, Your Honor. The defense rests. That wasn't an examination! That was opening remarks, and you somehow got an objection! This is all part of the plan. You'll see soon enough. Red Desk, your opening remarks? Men, women, and others of the court. Today we gather to decide who here is the real Mayor Smith. So I'm only like 60% sure that my Mayor Jason is the real one, but... I'm gonna fight to prove that 40% with the rest of you. That is all. Good job. Thanks. Hey Tyler, aren't you supposed to be the bailiff? Oh, uh, I am. Is the bailiff's job to shove candy into their mouth for the duration of the trial? <clears throat> I can do both. That's the sort of gumption I like to see out of my employees. Thanks, Mayor Jason. Are you okay? You're shaking a lot. I'm me. I am Mayor Jason. I make shouts out of whispers. I broke a spell once due to the power of my own ego. Is that how to fix this? Bombast my way to victory? This is all going according to plan. We lose in the first half so we can up the viewership in the second half. As the illustrious Paul Bear Bryant once said, I never been nothing but a winner. And this day will hold the same. Jesus Christ. Hey, Ashley, you are muttering quite a bit. That's it! What's it? Is anyone going to start cross-examination? I think we're past that. Will you give me a candy bar now? Fine, here. This one has coconut. It's all coming together. You're undoing. You're not the real Mayor Jason. What? No! I totally am! No, you know what? No. Because earlier you were nice and you didn't have a reason to be. Mayor Jason, while he does care about us, doesn't do anything unless it also benefits him. Yes! Thank you! <laughs> no. I'm the real Mayor Jason. For realsies, bro. I'm not even going to take that bait because I have the most damning evidence against you yet. Oh yes? And what might that be? Mayor Jason is right-handed, so he keeps his pocket square in his left breast pocket. Oh, well, you got me. This was fun. You goofballs are a riot. Aw, oh, what the hell? I thought for sure you were a clone. Nope. Shapeshifter. Uh, and speaking of that, time for my favorite part of the job. Ha ha, smokebox. <coughs> God, she got away? I wasn't done telling her off. You'll get her next time. I don't know how, but I know you Murphys were behind this. Actually, it was our old pal Karth who was to blame. That magical fellow Tyler had to stab an inordinate amount of times. Well, not him so much as his magical duplicates. Since I have no idea what y'all are talking about, can we have that movie night now? I've got a bunch of shitty DVDs in the trunk that aren't going to watch themselves. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, let me get this set up. Aside from that near-fatal beating, it's been a pretty okay Halloween. It has, hasn't it? And that flame monster sure as hell knows how to cook. It really does. Welcome to Emily's Diner! Take a seat anywhere! Sure thing, man. Josh, is, did a scarecrow covered in blood just walk in carrying an axe glowing a sickly green? Yeah, I'm sure that's really just none of our business, honestly. I mean, what's weird about it? Yeah, but... Look, it's Halloween, we get endless pancakes here. Let's just enjoy the pancakes, deal with that, only when and if it becomes our immediate problem. Coming between us and the pancakes. All right. Hey, fellas! Am I late for the sacrifice and ritual? See? See, Jesse? That, that is an immediate problem. Oh, neat mask, dude. <laughs> hey, uh, can I borrow that?
Tales of That Town is a production of That Town Entertainment. This week's episode was written by Jason Smith, Joshua Singer, Ashley Hall, James Burton, and Jesse Hall. It was directed by Michael Murphy and Jesse Hall. This week's vocal talents were Tyler Murphy as Tyler, Michael Murphy as Michael, Jason Smith as Mayor Jason, Joshua Singer as Josh, Other Josh, and Emberly, Ashley Hall as Ashley, James Burton as Burton and clone number one, and Jesse Hall as Jesse and clones two and three. Special guest, Autumn Ivy as Autumn the Shapeshifter. You can find her all over the internet, and you should, because I'm pretty sure she can deadlift this entire cast. Uh, her links are in the show notes, as we usually do. We're going to have a lot of show notes in this one, so have fun reading all that. Music, as always, by Zach Bergoso. Can't forget that, because music's what makes this thing roll. Also, we have social media. That's right, we are technically savvy, but not savvy technically. Uh, we have YouTube, Tumblr, and Facebook at That Town Entertainment. We're on Twitter at This Is That Town and at Tales of That Town. And uh, we got a couple outtakes for you. And then we have a new episode, sort of, coming in the next couple of days. So, see you then. Hey, swallow. Do not swallow the Legos. Too late. I say, I say, that's damn preposterous, boy. What? If it was good enough for the Attorney General, it's good enough for me in a court case. Bill Baxley, 1976. Alright, now to do the flame voice. Because you want me to do a flame voice. And why wouldn't I destroy my vocal cords? Toyed with doing something high-pitched, but that just doesn't seem right for a big, monstrous flame. Thinking something more demonic.